Today I'm going to share 10 different prompts with you that you can use within DALI 3 to create amazing looking t-shirt designs. Prompt number one is 2D flat drawing of a vintage distressed graphic design featuring a surfboard with the words boy who loves surfing isolated on a white background and by the way all of these prompts are linked in the description so you can copy them very easily this gives you a really cool design very suitable for t-shirts in this case we've got sort of the vintage sunset style but you can get different results for sure the text right here is spelled correctly even though it's very squished and if we carry on to the next set of results we've got more of a rounds of badge style which also looks great and some of these other results worked good as well boy who loves surfing this one is spelled correctly but i don't like the graphics there too much but on this last page i think the layout here also turned out amazing so this prompt definitely worth trying out here's another example for it with a different phrase dad who loves surfing and i think the colors right here look amazing the texture effect and everything is also spelled correctly so this definitely creates some amazing layouts and it can even get longer phrases correct Prompt number two is ideal for creating heartbeat line designs, which from my experience can do quite well on t-shirts. And the prompt goes, minimalistic wide white heartbeat line 2D flat graphic featuring a small white tractor silhouette in the center of the heartbeat line, isolated on a black background. And in this case, you want to get very minimalistic simple graphics they won't always look perfect like in this case there's some random glow and texture but if i scroll through these there is some better results here as well and the good thing is it'll be very easy to remove the background from these and you can easily amend the prompt swap out tractor for lots of different objects whether it is a vehicle a sports object maybe food you could do animals as well so anything that relates to people's interests and hobbies you could put onto these heartbeats to sell them on a t-shirt design. You can also change the prompt slightly. If you don't want it to be too minimalistic, you could take that out at the start and have a bit more of a detailed graphic in the result. Prompt number three will help you generate rainbow designs with leopard prints embedded into the arches. So the prompt goes flat vector art illustration of a pink rainbow with leopard print pattern. The seven arcs of the rainbow are isolated on a black background. You can obviously change the colors right here. You can also change the type of pattern if you want it to be heart shapes, or you could include heart shapes into the prompt if you want them to be added. And the first result here, I think looks pretty decent and usable. The second one, not so much. It's a bit wonky looking, but if you sort of rerun this multiple times, you are going to get some nice looking results that are definitely useful for especially those awareness topics in print on demand niches. I have run this prompt multiple times over the last few days, and I am often getting really nice results. Here's another example of the same prompt in action where we did get some neat rainbows back. This one especially looks amazing. Maybe too much leopard print pattern, but you could easily fix that as well. What do some of the others look like right here? This one looks cool with the little star shapes around as well. So I think you get the gist. This is a super useful prompt and you can easily amend it to apply this design style to many different t-shirt designs and niches. Moving on, prompt number four is a text only design in case you want to create something without graphics in there. So this prompt is very simple and short, good vibes only, typography design, white colors in a bold brush script font. As you can see, that is what this result looks like. You can obviously change the font type. So if you wanted a distressed font, a handwritten font, serif, sans serif, you know, you can make changes to this prompt to make the design meet your liking. I think this result looks quite neat, really cool sort of swashes to decorate the design. Towards the end, and it did get a bit worse. Not sure why it would get worse over time, but with this prompt, you can definitely test out different font styles. I've done it and quickly gotten some nice text designs that way. Another design style that's very popular in print on demand is the messy hair bun style. And I have tried crafting a prompt that can replicate this style to an extent. And I think I've got a good one right here. So the prompt goes 2D flat color drawing of a stylish girl with a distinctive messy bun hairstyle. She wears a bandana featuring a pink leopard pattern. Again, you can swap this part out for many other colors or patterns, whatever you want, and matching set of sunglasses. The entire depiction is isolated on a clean white backdrop. She's looking straight ahead at the camera. That part is important because oftentimes you'll get like a side profile of the girl, which won't really help you for t-shirt design, I suppose, or you do ideally want them to be looking straight ahead. So I think these results look really, really cool. It doesn't look exactly like the t-shirt design messy hair bun style, but I could still see the 
the selling, especially with some text underneath, which I tried as well, of course. So this is the same prompt with the addition that it says underneath her face are the words mom of a warrior in a handwritten font. And some of these results look amazing. The text is often spelled correctly. The whole sort of layout is really, really, really cool too. Mom of a warrior right here with a little heart and a star symbol. So this is definitely a prompt worth trying out because it can quickly help you generate some amazing designs aimed at women with these messy hair bun styles. Prompt number six is definitely the best way that I've found to generate vintage sunsets with any AI tool. These look so authentic and so nice for print on a man t-shirt design. So the prompt goes vintage distressed sunset design featuring the silhouette of a motorboat. Swap out motorboat for any other subject that you want to be part of your design pastel blue orange and red color scheme so this is what you can affect obviously as well depending on the niche you want to enter but i think this color scheme looks amazing for almost every niche and then we've got the designers isolated on a white background again and just look at these results they look so so good this one as well right here you could even if you wanted to cut out some of the bottom part right here if you don't want it to be round and then you have more space for text on the actual design if you don't want it to all be sort of around the this circle and if I skip through these there's only three sets but all of them do definitely look usable for t-shirt design so this is a really good prompt that I'm going to be using all the time now because these sunsets can still sell very very well on print on demand t-shirts so check it out mess around with the color scheme for sure and obviously the subject to suit your niche Next up, we've got a bit of a different style that can do quite well for POD, and that is create a cottage core graphic design of a frog with the words enjoy where you are now, isolated on a white background. And by the way, I do typically use white background in these prompts because I do find it easier for a moving background. You can still use black background if you want your designs to be optimized for darker t-shirts. I'm just saying it might be a little bit more work afterwards for you to sort of remove the background from your graphics. And in this case, we've got a really neat looking style. I especially like the way this graphic looks right here. Obviously, it is spelt incorrectly, so you have to be patient sometimes with these longer phrases. They might look wonky in many of your results, but if you regenerate, DALI 3 can typically work it out. So enjoy where you are now. Here, it definitely worked. In this case, it didn't, unfortunately, but the graphic isn't as nice either. But here, once again, I think this might be the nicest result. Enjoy where you are now. Very, very accurate. And the graphic with the decorative elements definitely looks extremely nice. So yeah, test out this prompt. The style looks really cool and it can work very well for some specific niches. Prompt number eight is a bit of a unique approach to creating designs with text because you can have a fruit or an animal or something holding up a sign with the words of your t-shirt design written on them. So in this case, we've got flat vector art graphic of an avocado holding up a sign with the text, Avo nice day, isolated on a white background. The first result not perfect, so it says nice, twice in this case spelled correctly but i don't like this style too much but then the second set definitely gave us some nice results right here spelled correctly and i think the sort of vector style of these looks really amazing so test this prompt out swap out you know the fruit use different animals different fruit items whatever you can think of with a funny phrase and you've got yourself a unique t-shirt design and i could see this working very well as stickers as well Moving on, we've got a style that used to be very popular when Mid Journey came out, and I thought I'd try it out in DALI 3, and of course the results are epic. So we've got Vaporwave themed t-shirt design graphic featuring a raccoon wearing sunglasses with the words i.e. trash isolated on a black background. And as you can see, this style looks pretty, pretty cool. Trash is spelled wrong right here, but I think in most of these results, it did get the text right. The colors, very vibrant, and it even adds some of these grids sometimes and additional graphics, which is definitely really cool. Trash spelled correctly, uh, incorrectly, unfortunately, again, right there. But I also tried it with Bigfoot and got some interesting results like this one I think looks amazing with this of half sunset in the background this stroke outline so yeah definitely a good prompt to get amazing results for lots of different topics swap out the phrase swap out the subject and you'll have yourself a nice vibrant t-shirt design and prompt number 10 if you like the kawaii 
anime Japanese style of graphics, then this prompt is for you because it goes cute kawaii cat graphic, eating ramen, vibrant colors, clear stroke outline isolated on a white background. Clear stroke outline, by the way, is a good addition to your prompts if you want to have an easier time cutting it out afterwards, if you want to remove the background more easily. And as you can see, we can get some neat results right here of these animals actually eating the ramen and uh, the style, again, very suitable for stickers, t-shirt designs, but does look really, really cool and accurate. The good thing compared to Mid Journey is that these animals are not sat inside the bowl. You do often get that result in, in Mid Journey for some reason, but here it actually looks like they're sat in front of the bowl eating the noodles. So really cool prompt. Obviously, you don't have to have noodles included there eating ramen. You can just use this style for many different animals or topics instead of having it always, you know, linked to eating. So bear that in mind. Really cool prompt will be linked underneath like all of the other ones. And I hope it helps you out in your design process. If you want to learn a super advanced method for using DALL-E 3 to bulk create lots of different prompts and graphics with associated listing SEO, meaning keywords, title and description for each of the graphics that you generate, make sure to check out this video next. It's going to save you a massive amount of time.